Hi everyone, I am Rihanna Emma's Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, SNIT Adur. Here we are discussing the subject, Civil Engineering Project Management for 8th Semester Civil Engineering, as per APJ Abdul Kalam, Kerala Technological University Syllabus. In this subject, we have covered all the six modules and now we are moving to the revision part. So, today I am going about the third module construction disputes and settlements. Today our topic of discussion the previous year university questions from the module 3. The first question was during a dispute what are the claims that a contractor can put forward against a client? which is asked for 7 marks so your answer should contain the definition for dispute the causes for dispute the various claims and gen claim generating circumstances and the various claims that a contractor can put forward against a client so for this question your answer should be in such a way that First of all, you have to define what is a dispute. Then you have to list out some causes for dispute. Then list out the various claim generating circumstances related to these disputes. Thereafter, you have to list out the various claims that a contractor can put forward against a client. And on each of the claims, you have to give a brief explanation. Then only your answer will get completed. Question is, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of arbitration over other methods of settlement of disputes, which is asked for 8 marks. So your answer should include the definition for arbitration, then state the need for arbitration, then briefly explain the procedure for arbitration. Then list out the advantages of arbitration over other methods of settlement of disputes and list out the disadvantages of arbitration over other methods of settlement of disputes. So for this question you have to answer first what is arbitration. Then you have to state the need of arbitration in not less than 5 sentences and then you have to briefly explain the step by step procedure for this arbitration and the role of arbitrator in this arbitration then you have to list out the advantages of this arbitration method as compared to other modes of dispute settlement similarly you have to list out the disadvantages of arbitration as compared to other modes of settlement of disputes and you have to also specify what is arbitration award it will be better. The third question is what are the various elements that constitute the direct cost of an item or activity in a construction project? How does this direct cost behave as the output volume increases? This question carries a marks of 7. So your answer should include construction cost what is construction cost and list out the various elements that constitute the direct cost of an item or activity in a construction project and briefly explain the behavior of direct costs as the output volume increases with the help of graphs so we are uh, we know that basically the construction cost is classified into two categories such as direct costs and indirect costs here the question is related to direct costs so you have to specify first you have to state what is construction cost and which are the different types of construction cost then you have to define what is direct cost then you have to list out the various elements that constitutes the direct cost of a construction project then you have to explain the behavior of this direct cost we know that the direct cost may be fixed, variable or semi-variable. So, explain the behavior of these direct costs with the help of a 
graphical representation as this output volume increases how uh, the direct consciousness it should be clearly explained with the help of graphical representations the fourth question is discuss the various causes of dispute that can occur during the execution of a project which is also asked for seven marks so your answer should include the definition for disputes list out the various causes for disputes brief explanation on each cause which results in disputes at construction sites so during the execution of a project there are more chances for disputes in between the contractor and the client so in this question you have to answer in a way that first of all you have to mention what is a dispute then you have to list out what are the different causes for dispute then you have to give a brief explanation on each of the cause during the execution of a project next question is explain the different modes of settlements of disputes which carries eight marks so your answer should include the definition of disputes the causes of disputes method for settlement of disputes there are generally three methods for settlement of disputes they are by direct negotiation between the client and contractor through arbitration and the third one is settlement through courts so you have to clearly and briefly explain the different methods of disputes first of all in the introductory part you have to give the introduction of what is a dispute and what are the general causes for a dispute and then you have to uh, mention the methods for uh, settlement of disputes you have to list out the methods as by direct negotiation between contractors and clients second one through arbitration and third one through settlement courts then you have to clearly give a brief explanation on each of these modes and what is the advantages of each mother over the other mother or what are the disadvantages of each mother over the other mother so the sixth question was explain the method of determining the cost of resources in a construction project it is asked for seven marks so your answer should include you have to uh, we know that the mother used for the, uh, determining the cost of a resource in a construction project is unit cost mother or unit rate mother then you have to define what is unit rate then specify the importance of this unit rate and standard rate then state the significance of unit rate costing of resources then briefly explain the procedure for unit rate cost of resources okay hoping that you have understood uh, the previous year questions uh, which is asked from this module 3 uh, i will discuss about the various important questions which would be asked from the module 3 in next session so okay thank you stay safe